Hello everyone, this is Gina Santangelo. Welcome to GLOW, Gina's Lifestyle of Wellness podcast. I hope you had a wonderful week and you are ready for the information I have for you today. Let's begin with a short meditation to set our intentions, become completely present, and receive this information I have for you. Take a deep cleansing breath, fill your lungs, and know the air is traveling to all points in your body. Hold briefly. Exhale. Let today's worries, to-dos, annoyances, and even triumphs drift away. Give yourself this moment. Envision a single light that shines warmly from your head to toes. Feel its safety, its guidance, its love. This time is yours for growth, for new perspectives, for new possibilities. Be open, be love. Gandhi once said, I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. I love that quote. Clear, healthy thoughts, inspired mindsets, a true heart. They are also deeply connected to what we put in our mouths, the nourishment that ultimately lets us become our best selves in mind and spirit. Clean eating is a life changer. My next few podcasts are all about getting clean. People seem to have such a different perspective on clean eating and what it really entails. For some, it sounds inspiring. Others imagine a day with just organic celery, crankiness, and deprivation. (laughs) So let's begin by throwing out all the misconceptions. Clean eating is satisfying, gratifying, joyful, energetic eating. The benefits are endless. Clear thinking, more energy, lifted spirits, strong, healthy bodies, and youthful appearance. Once the mystery is gone, you can embrace it. You can own it. And best of all, you can feel wonderful. I really spell this out in my book, Eat Clean, Live Free. But I'll share some of the key facts now to get started. I want you to know that it is not only what you do all of the time. It's what you do some of the time. So it's not an all or nothing thing. Don't feel overwhelmed. Every little transition towards cleaner eating matters. It's a process, and you get to choose what works best for your unique body, comfort zones, and lifestyle. And with that, here goes. Once upon a time, food was pure. It was whole. It was organic. No pesticides, herbicides, hormones, chemicals, right? You get the picture. Fast forward to today. Our food is farmed with chemicals, it's genetically engineered, and loaded with hormones. We need to eat to live, yet what we eat can make us sick, even kill us, insanely. And that's where organic farming comes in. With natural farming methods, we get deliciousness, nutrients, and produce that nourishes. Here are the four rules to guide you if you want a clean body. Number one. Choose foods in their natural state. It makes sense, right? Choose whole foods that are grown locally whenever possible. You will get freshness, nutrients, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Number four, forget fast food. I could really go on about this, but I'll control myself and just say that fast food is linked to many bad health issues. It's loaded with calories and artificial ingredients. And that's putting it nicely, so just stay clear. You may not always be able to purchase 100% organic, but you can make educated choices. The Environmental Working Group creates annual lists of non-organic produce with the most chemicals and non-organic produce with the least chemicals. These lists are helpful because they let us choose wisely. I really recommend that you go online and print them 
But for now, I'm going to review the most recent list from 2015. Listen for those fruits and veggies you can eat and serve your family often. If you hear your favorites on the Dirty Dozen list, consider switching over to organic. Here's the Dirty Dozen list. And again, really listen to what you eat most of. Apples, celery, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, nectarines, peaches, potatoes, snap peas, spinach, strawberries, sweet bell peppers. Did you hear that apple on the top of the list? If you're an apple eater, just switching over to organic apples is a wonderful step. And now for some good news. Here are the cleanest non-organic fruits and veggies, otherwise known as the Clean 15. They are asparagus, avocados, cabbage, cantaloupe, cauliflower, eggplant, grapefruit, kiwi, mangoes, onions, papayas, pineapples, sweet corn, sweet peas, sweet potatoes. Lots of food for thought. In my next podcast, I will dive a little deeper into clean eating with tips about veggies, meat, poultry, eggs, and dairy choices. But for today, I hope you will remember to embrace whole, seasonal, organic produce whenever possible. And when you cannot, remember to go to the environmental working groups list and replace the dirtiest offenders with the safer options. Each step to cleaner eating counts. Get stepping. (laughs) Feel good about your wise and healthy choices. Each one removes a dirty footprint. That's a wrap for today. I hope this leaves you with new considerations. I'd love to hear from you all and know what you are thinking. Please comment below or send me an email. My hope is that something I said to you today resonates and has served you. Come see me at GinaSantangelo.com and grab my complimentary booklet, Turning Back the Clock, Seven Secrets to Looking and Feeling Ten Years Younger. Also, I have a great forum called Glow on Facebook. I will post the link below. Feel free to request to join the group. There you will become a part of the Glow community. Learn great lifestyle choices to help you love the body you are in and live the life you love. My heart focus. Until next time, be love.